Hello everybody. Welcome to Dreamland Fairy Tales Audio Books. The story we are about to read is about how Jack went out to seek his fortune. The genre of how Jack went to seek his fortune can be classified as a fairy tale. This is because of the author's usage of the words once upon a time. And the way the characters are incorporated into the story as Jack seeks his fortune. This story could also qualify as fiction, because this excerpt from How Jack Went to Seek His Fortune is non realistic due to its fairy tale qualities. How Jack Went Out to Seek His Fortune was published in English Fairy Tales, retold by Flora Annie Steele. 1922, illustrated by Arthur Rickham. How Jack Went Out to Seek His Fortune will retell the reader about a boy named Jack that one morning decided to seek his fortune. On his way he met a cat, a dog, a goat, a bull, a rooster, which also agreed to make a companion to him and seek a fortune. On their way they came in sight of a house, and Jack told his companions to keep still, while he went up and looked in through the window to see if all was safe. Let us begin the story. Once on a time there was a boy named Jack, and one morning he started to go and seek his fortune. He hadn't gone very far before he met a cat. Where are you going, Jack, said the cat. I am going to seek my fortune. May I go with you? Yes, said Jack, the more the merrier. So on they went, Jack and the cat. Jiggletty jolt, jiggletty jolt, jiggletty jolt. They went a little farther, and they met a dog. Where are you going, Jack, said the dog. I am going to seek my fortune. May I go with you? Yes, said Jack, the more the merrier. So on they went, Jack, the cat, and the dog. Jiggletty jolt, jiggletty jolt, jiggletty jolt. They went a little farther, and they met a goat. Where are you going, Jack, said the goat. I am going to seek my fortune. May I go with you? Yes, said Jack, the more the merrier. So on they went, Jack, the cat, the dog, and the goat. Jiggletty jolt, jiggletty jolt, jiggletty jolt. They went a little farther, and they met a bull. Where are you going, Jack, said the bull. I am going to seek my fortune. May I go with you? Yes, said Jack, the more the merrier. So on they went, Jack, the cat, the dog, the goat, and the bull. Jiggletty jolt, jiggletty jolt. Jiggletty jolt. They went a little farther, and they met a rooster. Where are you going, Jack, said the rooster. I am going to seek my fortune. May I go with you? Yes, said Jack, the more the merrier. So on they went, Jack, the cat, the dog, the goat, the bull, and the rooster. Jiggletty jolt, jiggletty jolt, jiggletty jolt. And they went on jiggletty jolting till it was about dark, and it was time to think of some place where they could spend the night. Now, after a bit, they came in sight of a house, and Jack told his companions to keep still 
while he went up and looked in through the window to see if all was safe. And what did he see through the window but a band of robbers seated at a table counting over great bags of gold. That gold shall be mine, quoth Jack to himself. I have found my fortune already. Then he went back and told his companions to wait till he gave the word and then to make all the noise they possibly could in their own fashion. So when they were all ready Jack gave the word, and the cat mewed, and the dog barked, and the goat bleated, and the bull bellowed, and the rooster crowed, and altogether they made such a terrific hubbub that the robbers jumped up in a fright and ran away, leaving their gold on the table. So, after a good laugh, Jack and his companions went in and took possession of the house and the gold. Now Jack was a wise boy, and he knew that the robbers would come back in the dead of the night to get their gold, and so when it came time to go to bed he put the cat in the rocking chair, and he put the dog under the table, and he put the goat upstairs, and he put the bull in the cellar, and bade a rooster fly up onto the roof. Then he went to bed. Now sure enough, in the dead of the night, the robbers sent one man back to the house to look after the money. But before long he came back in a great fright and told them a fearsome tale. I went back to the house, said he, and went in and tried to sit down in the rocking chair, and there was an old woman knitting there, and she, oh my, stuck her knitting needles into me. That was the cat, you know. Then I went to the table to look after the money, but there was a shoemaker under the table, and my, how he stuck his all into me. That was the dog, you know. So I started to go upstairs, but there was a man up there threshing, and goody, how he knocked me down with his flail. That was the goat, you know. Then I started to go down to the cellar, but, oh dear me, there was a man down there chopping wood, and he knocked me up, and he knocked me down just terrible with his axe. That was the bull, you know. But I shouldn't have minded all that, if it hadn't been for an awful little fellow on the top of the house by the kitchen chimney, who kept a hollering and hollering, cook him in a stew. Cook him in a stew. Cook him in a stew. And that, of course, was the cock a doodle do. Then the robbers agreed that they would rather lose their gold than meet with such a fate, so they made off, and Jack next morning went gaily home with his booty. And each of the animals carried a portion of it. The cat hung a bag on its tail, a cat when it walks always carries its tail stiff, the dog on his collar, the goat and the bull on their horns, but Jack made a rooster carry a golden guinea in its beak to prevent it from calling all the time. Cock-a-doodle-doo, cook him in a stew. And that is the tale of how Jack went out to seek his fortune. The End You might also enjoy this interesting story about the tale of Androclus and the Lion. Androclus, a Christian slave in Roman times, is surprised by a lion in the forest. Seeing that the lion has a thorn in its paw, Androclus pulls the thorn out. If you enjoy that story, Leave a like, and do not forget to subscribe to Dreamland Fairy Tales Audio Books. Hit notification bell button to be updated to our latest fairy tale stories and enjoy a complete collection of short stories for children. I hope you enjoyed reading with me. 
until next time. Goodbye. Thank <music> you.